Yes, Carissa Yip, the number two seed in the tournament. Been on sort of a roller coaster, coaster ride. Carissa, you beat Arena in an easy game, and then you lost. You, you got to say it was a bad game uh, yesterday against Begim. And this game today, we don't know how you survived coming out of that opening. What were your thoughts after the first eight moves and your position just looked not so pleasant? <laughs> yeah, I mean, after Bishop C4, I felt at first... I was like, I feel like C takes D4 It's pretty good for me because I could tell that like bishop takes F7 wasn't really working out for her. Um, and then I saw knight G5 and I spent like a really long time calculating that and kind of decided like, I mean I was looking at all sorts of stuff with like E6 or Queen A5 but I felt like everything was kind of too crazy. And so, um, and so I couldn't really like think of a move after Bishop C4, and I saw I burned like half an hour already, and I was like, okay, Queen A5 looks good enough, I guess. I was yeah, just praying then, for the best. But then she played Bishop D2, and that's a monster move. Yeah. And your position is in serious crisis just about right away after this, this move. Uh, you did play H6, which we were cringing at when we saw this one, too. <laughs> You're thinking, what's going to happen? E5 looks strong, and this is like a, a big attack. But then she backed down and didn't play the most aggressive continuation. Gave you a chance to get back in the game. Yeah, I guess she just um, wanted to get like more of a solidish position where she's like slightly better. And um, I think like what happened in the game was that she missed that I have e5, and if I don't play e5, then my position's like kind of iffy. Um, but since I do have e5, I feel like I should be good here because after she, well, she's like forced to exchange knights, and then uh, afterwards. Uh, I always have like this d5 push that's really hard for her to stop. Yeah, that's exactly right. All your analysis is true there. And we're going to ask you, when the moment did come, you have d5 right now. And you played b6 instead. Why didn't you go for d5? Yeah, I mean, I was calculating d5 too. And, okay, bishop takes is the only move, I suppose. And, yeah, rook takes, takes, e4. I mean, I don't know. This is, this is probably really good for black. But I thought... I want to play like a little bit more safe because that tough loss yesterday. So she's trying what, not to lose again. That's what we were thinking. I think Christian said that you were thinking about the ghost of yesterday. By the way, yesterday you played this move knight c8 instead of knight c4, and we just wanted to cry. At least I wanted to cry. The oh, yeah. knight on c8. I oh, saw the God. replay, Maurice. I'm sorry to disappoint <laughs> you. Why were you watching the replay? Because <laughs> everyone was like, Maurice was roasting you so hard. And I was like, well, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> Look, Carissa, you can't play moves like knight c8. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, I just missed that after knight c4, there's like queen b3, bishop f1 ideas. Um, and I thought like I had to defend the knight by playing like rook c8, in which case there are like some weird tactics of uh, like rook c1 and then... Uh, I can't really get into the lines right now because I don't quite remember. But like, I missed I have like this rook d4 defense instead of rook c8, which is like mm -hmm. so much better. And then my position stays together. But yeah. yeah. Don't, don't, <laughs> I was saying, don't put a knight on c8. Even, even if you put a gun to my head, I'm not backing my piece up and go through that kind of position. But so you did play a little bit safe today as well uh, with the move b6 instead of playing for d5. But slowly she let you all the way back. And then suddenly it was you with the initiative. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like it was just kind of a little hard for her to play after I closed up the queen side and started pushing my pawns on the, on the king side. And I feel like her g3 f4 idea was definitely um, not the best. It would have been harder for me to break through. But yeah, I mean, I saw that position coming and I was like, okay, I feel like I could probably outplay her here just because there's like some pressure on her. So emotionally, you've gone through an easy game that was happy days ahead, a bad game that was dejection, a difficult opening, and then a win. It's like right now to me, if I'm your coach, I'm on a roller coaster ride watching you play. Where's your emotional state right now after this game? You're, are, despite all that, tied for first. Yeah, I mean, after, after yesterday, I was really not feeling my best. Um, but I mean... I had some friends help me like put into perspective. They're like, you're still half a point behind first, so you just gotta like get out of your own head a little bit and uh, 
stop stressing so much. Because, like, for me, I feel like um, I always come into this tournament, I'm always, like, really nervous about it, and so I don't, I don't play to my strength, usually, and I'm just hoping to change that with the remaining half of the tournament. Well, you did so, so far. Tough road uh, to this point, but you're tied for first. Good luck in the rest of your games, and you're right. Don't stress so much. And I'm not roasting you, but if you make a bad move, I got to talk about it. No, no, no. I, I, I get that. I respect it. Yes. Deserve to be roasted for, for that one. <laughs> Carissa, you, you were talking with Maurice, and you gave a lot of variations, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers wanted to see what you were saying. So if you don't mind, I just brought your game up that you played yesterday, mm -hmm. which Maurice took you to task for, for not playing the move knight c4. And there's a lot of other people behind Maurice, by the way. <laughs> I mean, yes. But you were saying you rejected knight c4 because you saw okay. the move queen b3, and then you saw ideas of bishop f1, and that yeah. threw you off. OK, so here in this line, um, you have to like protect your knight, Rook right? takes d8, or yep. knight takes e6 first, whichever. Okay. Um, knight takes e6. Right. Queen takes e6. Okay, yeah. and then here I was thinking, like, bishop f1, I missed, I had rook d4, and I thought I had to play rook c8. Yeah, okay. so rook d4 here, and I'm fine. I thought I had to play, like, rook c8. Okay. And then I saw this line with, like, bishop g5. Okay. h6. Right. Rook c1. I gotcha. And then after I take the bishop, bishop takes c4 and bishop takes f7. And oh, you're right. crying. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> that was crazy. what you saw and scared you away from this whole line. You just simply mm -hmm. missed rook d4 then. Yeah, I mean, I just missed rook d4 and I'm just holding everything together. Cause exactly. She can't get rid of my rook there. And your knight, you. In mm -hmm. the game, you got all of these passive pieces. I don't want to bore you with that, but yeah. Rook I think she remembers what happened. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. All, all right. right. Well, well done today to close that out, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Absolutely. Good luck, Carissa.